In this video, we're gonna go over how you can add extra interactivity to prototypes using conditionals and variables inside of Figma. So what we're gonna create is this prototype where you can decrease and increase the number presented here without creating a number of different frames to do so, all just on one frame. Let's get into it. To illustrate this concept, I created these text layers and these buttons and nothing is grouped. They're all just layers right now. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to deselect everything and go to this local variables section and click this button and we're gonna create a number variable uh, and it's going to say number and the value is gonna be zero. Um, so that's the first step. And then we're going to go to this text that says zero and we're going to click this button here in the text section of the design panel to apply that variable we just created and we're going to click number and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a component out of these layers so i'm just going to select everything here and i'm going to click the create component button you can also do this by uh, clicking option command k uh, you can also right click and there is a create component option. So I'm going to do that for this one. And we're going to give this a name of plus and this one minus. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the component that I just created, the plus, and we're going to go to the prototype section and we're going to give it an interaction. So clicking the plus button and we're going to go to set variable. We're going to pick number and then we're going to write an expression here. So um, again, number and this is for plus. So we're, it's gonna be addition and we're gonna give it plus one. So this is going every time you tap this button or click that button, this is going to go up by one. So we're gonna add that, and now we're going to go to the minus and do the same thing. And we're gonna go to set variable, and we're gonna click number, and then we're gonna type number and subtraction, in this case, and subtracting by one. So now if you go to um, presenting, or if you click uh, shift spacebar, it will show the prototype. So as you can see, as I hover over, I have that interaction option. So I'm gonna click plus, and as you see, it's going up by one. And if I click minus, it is decreasing by one. Okay, now, so there is kind of a problem here. So this could go into negative values, and let's say that we don't want that. We want the lowest it can go is nothing, zero. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna go back to this minus component and we're going to set a conditional. So we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna click conditional. So what we're gonna do here under conditional is type in number and greater than zero and click enter. And then we're gonna go here and we're just going to apply this by holding option and dragging right under. Um, so now there's a conditional. Um, so this should solve that problem. So again, shift spacebar to pull up the prototype. And as you see here, I'm tapping and it no longer decreases. So I'm gonna add and I'm subtract and I am tapping this and it is not going into negative numbers. So it stops at zero.